case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court's ruling elicited a dissenting opinion, arguing that Texas's welfare computation system might unreasonably limit the standard of need, inadvertently leaving out nearly 2,500 families who meet the need requirements, thus violating the Social Security statute. This dissenting voice also purported that the Texas program contradicted the notion of encouraging AFDC grantees to work, making the program illegal. Furthermore, the author lodged his disagreement with the court's determination that the political unpopularity and stigma of the AFDC program had no bearing on its racial composition. He questioned establishing a burden of proof on racial discrimination claims and insisted that those similarly ensnared in hardship must receive equal assistance. The author deems Texas's argument that AFDC children significantly differ from other beneficiaries as frail, and he finds fault with the state's suggestion that relatives could more easily donate support to AFDC families. Any such aid sanctioned by kin, he argued, is subtracted from the state's grant. In summary, the district court's judgment was challenged for its perceived flaws and discrepancies with the author arguing that this pivotal case should undergo a revisit to potentially overturn the court's ruling and propose a remedy consistent with this viewpoint. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.